This is beating the Orcus Worm boss fight without any weapon. But not only that, but this boss fight is completed in just one minute. It sounds absurd, and it is, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's jump in. This might be one of the craziest challenges I've ever done in Call of Duty Zombies. And massive shout out to Elite Gaming, who tweeted me a clip of him doing this. So it is possible, and we are going to do it. Now, I've spawned him with a Holger. This is only going to be used to actually go through the first section of the boss fight. Not a single bullet will be fired at that main boss but the only setup we need before we can go in the boss fight is that i need to get a fully stocked backpack full of grenades as you can see we're rocking experimental gas and breacher drones so we need to go to any and all ammo depots to try and get as many of those nades stocked up as humanly possible but if we can find any other grenades that would be great and i also need to go ahead and do a few contracts just so we get some perks as there's no way i'm doing a boss fight with just death perception any and all ammo depots we need to refill and then what we're going to do is we're going to drop one of these and one of these then we're going to stow them so we're slowly building up a collection and then once this is cooled down we'll use it again and then we'll have to have and then once this cooldown is ended we can refill again and we can start stocking up on nades and hey look we just found another breacher drone in there okay i think we got to search this place lt53 kazmir we're taking that as well and another breacher drone oh my god is this the place to find them now i'm going to drop another breacher drone stow it oh my god a decoy i mean do we need one no and then we go and refill and now we got more drop one of each stow stow you you can see we're starting to build quite a collection here okay a few contracts later and a lot of scavenging for nades and we are just gonna buy the last of the perks that we need and then we're going straight to the boss oh god this is gonna be really really scary to do the fact i'm not using decoys so let's get this we'll get this get this all right we should be good i need to do one last ammo refill oh god this is this is kind of scary oh okay Grab that. All right, we are off. All right, I hate driving in the red zone, especially with a car like this. All right, off we go, off we go, off we go. Our next stop is go and visit Orcus. There we go. Defeat Zakayev. Let's get it. Okay. x field of Zakayev Stronghold. I am so ready to see this. This is what we're bringing in, boys. We're bringing in Breacher Drone on Breacher Drone on Breacher Drone. We've got... Four experimental gas grenades, one Molotov, and then the two other Breacher Jones and experimental gas in the loadout. Here's the part of no return, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the first half of the boss fight where we need to actually get towards it. And I have to use a weapon in order to actually get past to the boss. But once that boss spawns, ladies and gentlemen, we are fists only. Let's take out all of this AI. Don't mind me, boys. Weird, there's just so many of them just waiting for you right directly at the front once you jump off. Okay, now that we've done that, look, notice all the traps that they've laid down as well. They made sure every single entrance you could possibly take is trapped. And here we go. This is going to let out a bunch of zombies and a mimic. Another mimic. Let's see. Have we got any other things that we can, things we can pick up? Doesn't look it. We still have one more slot for some sort of equipment. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got an ammo stash. Let's drop one of these, one of these. Stow, let's stow. Let's go refill, baby. Okay, now we look very stacked. The only thing I want more of now is Molotov. So I might equip the Molotov just so we can get two of them from the ammo stash next time. Notice how many ammos there are as well around here. There is so many. Oh, Molotov, we just got another one. Okay, don't even need to do that. Okay, let's absolutely speed run this, boys. Got to enter here. There's going to be a few AI waiting. There's going to be one waiting right around there. There he is. Then as we head further up... Oh, this death perception. We can just see where they all are. We don't even have to worry. Oh, look at this. Well, hello. What's going to be in here? Oh, tombstone. <laughs> Imagine dying in the boss fight and just coming straight back, picking up everything you had. That could actually be the future of zombies boss fights, for real. Okay, let's continue to take these out. I need to remember, I can't use a single bit of equipment. We're not wasting it. It's all going on Orcus. Okay, let's place the explosives down. Let's not die. Oh God, imagine downing in that moment. I would have actually cried. Okay, so here we go. We've got more AI out in front of us. A few more traps, but not too many. Some armor plates at some point soon would be nice. Did they drop any? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we got some. Let's go. Oh, look at all these traps. Okay, we're pushing closer and closer to the boss. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, mercenary helos in. Don't like the sound of that. So we're going to have to take them out real quick. Take out the soldiers in them. But once we get to the pot for the helicopter, that's when I will literally drop my weapon on the ground. I won't even just swap to fists. I will drop them to the ground. Let's see. Can I kill them before they jump out? 
this is where energy mine would have been incredible. Nope. All right, there's one down. There's two down. Three. Four. Now the helicopter explodes. We've just got these. AI oh, that was a good nade. Okay, now we just need to power up the neutralizer. And this is where we are going weapons free. You ready for this, boys? Just to be safe, I'm going to put the gun down in here. But now we are truly weapons free so the next thing we need to do is destroy this helicopter but what i didn't realize is that this helicopter actually flies around for a certain amount of time oh my god and regardless if you put in a thousand bullets or one bullet he's gonna get taken out by orcas regardless so come on he just needs to fly right in this middle bit here here we go any moment now there we go there is orcas let's go all right Let's see how quick we can take this thing down. So one gas grenade, one breacher drone, another gas grenade, another breacher drone down. Right, let's put down some more. It's definitely going to be the uh, experimental gas, which is going to do the most damage. Let's make sure we don't miss them. Oh, he's doing his laser attack. But you see that gas is just ticking down on him. It is insane. Right, let's get a refill in. Where's he at? Is he still in the middle? He's still in the middle. Right, there we go. Another one down. Another one down. Another breacher drone. I am shocked at how good this gas is. Look at how quickly it's ticking him down. Right on another. Okay, what's he doing? He's burrowing underground. I should not be running around so freely like this, but I'm going to do it. Okay, more experimental gas. More breacher drones. Oh my god, dude. We're gonna... What? <laughs> wow. How insane is that? I can't believe we have done that. How quick was that? I'm genuinely gonna have to look back on the recording to look at how quick that was. We literally just beat that boss fight in one minute and one second. That is insane. If I was just throwing them out a bit quicker instead of waiting to get the ammunition refill at the stash. Man, but these gas grenades are actually broken. If there was a way to hold decoys and these gas grenades, I think you would win at zombies. No doubt. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. Big shout out again to Elite Gaming. I will have his link down below in this video's description. Go and show him some love for this incredible challenge and method that he showed. And hey, if you are going to this boss fight for the first time, this method will have you beat it so quick. Maybe even trying this with six players, I think you could beat this boss in like 30 seconds flat. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below.